Good morning, everyone. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I am here today with a sale video. Um, the holidays are very quickly approaching and, oh goodness, sorry, I have a kitten who's uh, running around. You can see he knocked over my plant and left this lovely mess for me to clean up in a little bit. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, the holidays are approaching and, you know, I do not have unlimited funds and let's face it, um, I have a lot of dolls if you have seen my channel before. Um, I have quite a few and it's just time to downsize. So, um, I thought about it a lot and unfortunately I think it's going to be, um, this little one who's going to be the next, um, to find a new owner. So... Um, I really have, I've enjoyed this sculpt immensely. I've had her, if you scroll back on my channel, I've had her since, uh, I think January of 2020. Um, for anyone who does not recognize her, this is the Mindy sculpt, um, by Adri Stoetti. She was painted, um, by Mimi, uh, Laturst. I feel like I always say it wrong. Um, her nursery name is Urchins by the Sea. She's very, very sweet, and she has, um, a wonderful Instagram account. I highly recommend you, um, follow her if you're interested in seeing more of her work. Um, when I originally purchased this doll, she was actually bald, so she was bald for quite a while, like a year and a half, and I had her rooted by, um, a woman named Melinda, uh, Hafe? Jaffe? I have no idea. I'm sorry, guys. I, I literally, I can't, I can't pronounce words, apparently. Um, but I had her rooted in, oh gosh, I think it was like July or August. I think it was after the 4th of July of this year, of 2021. So she's pretty newly rooted. It's only been a couple months, but unfortunately this sweet little doll just doesn't get as much attention as she should probably. So I'm going to let her go. And, um, I always post a, a video on YouTube because, um, when I'm selling, people tend to ask the same questions over and over and over again, and it's just faster to um, to send them a link and try to like just address any questions that I get pretty frequently. Um, I'll also post her on Facebook. Um, so a lot of these details I'm probably just gonna repeat. So if you see her on Facebook first and then I send you on this link, feel free to just double click through this because a lot of it will already be in my in my sale post. But um, she is about 16 inches long, so like preemie-ish size, but, or maybe small newborn, maybe, just depending on what you put her in. She's in like a three-month size, like, sweater right now that she's just like absolutely swimming in, but I like that oversized look on babies. But yeah, she's pretty small. She has really nice curly little legs, which I think are so cute, and I really like the way her nails are done. I'll zoom in. I'm gonna take off her sweater and then zoom in on some of her details but I thought I'd just give you like a quick overview. Um, this is obviously an open-eyed doll. She has very nice um, blue eyes. Hopefully the light um, can pick them up pretty well. It's pretty, pretty good lighting. And then I had her rooted with like a strawberry blondish color. It's a little bit more blonde than red, I would say, I guess. Um, but I think the, the color really suits her and it matches her eyebrows pretty well considering they were done at different times. So there's the, there's the match between the eyebrows and her hair color. Hopefully that's pretty easy to see. So anyway, yeah, she's, um, like preemie, small newborn-ish size. Um, I have no idea how much she weighs, um, and quite frankly, I find that question to be a little bit silly because you can always <laughs> take apart, she's a, a vinyl doll, so you can always take them apart and reweigh them and, and all of those types of things. Um, let's see, um, I obviously live in a cat-friendly home, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, um, but I am not a smoker, so... Nothing to worry about there. Um, she um, she doesn't have a magnet, so that's another thing. Um, and I, I literally, I very rarely use pacifiers on my dolls. So if that's something you're interested in, and I'll show you a little bit of her mouth detail. You can see her little tongue in there, which is so cute. Um, but yeah, she cannot take a pacifier unless, uh, but she came to me with a modified pacifier, so I will include that in her box opening. She will come with a box opening. Um, I always, you know, do at least, you know, five or six outfits, whatever. Um, I'm a second hand, like, 
thrift store shopper though, so it may not necessarily be brand new clothing, but I always buy clothes in like good condition, so. So yeah, um, I have lots of references. I've sold lots of dolls before. Um, I have a lot of dolls, that's why I'm downsizing. So if you need references from me, I'm more than happy to provide that. Um, and I am fine with layaway. Um, we can discuss that if you contact me. Um, I would ask for a non-refundable deposit though, just so that you have a little bit of incentive to actually finish making payments and not just uh, bail on me because I'm not looking to deal with like multiple sales. I find that to be um, quite irritating. Um, anyway, I have her um, a little safety um, words, words, sorry, I'm like struggling right now. I have a safety photo or video, I guess this is. So you can see here's her um, sculpt, her reborn artist, her rooter, um, today's date, which hopefully I'll upload this today. Um, here's my name on, um, on YouTube and this is my Instagram name. And then I also grabbed her, um, this is her artist um, birth certificate. And then this is her COA. Um, oh, I didn't mention this, but the, uh, Mindy is an open edition. And then here's the other side. I love Elena's version of this doll. She's so cute. I also think this doll makes a really cute, um, boy. I see, I don't see this sculpt a lot, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I know for sure, um, one other lady on Instagram. Um, and then here's the card of her rooter. So if you're interested in, um having a doll custom rooted. Here's the information of the woman who I had root um, my doll. The wait time was not bad at all. Um, I think her name might be, or no, okay, sorry. I was, sorry, I was looking at this Reborn Miracles, but I was thinking, I thought it was Reborn Miracles by MJ. I thought that was her name on Facebook, but apparently it's just Reborn Miracles, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, there's all her paperwork, safety photo. Um, I'm gonna undress her and show you a few more details um, of her painting, and then we will wrap this video up. So, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Oh, and I didn't mention this, but it's like mid-morning-ish right now, so the light is decent. I just film on my couch near an open window, so she's pretty, pretty true to color. You can see her compared to my skin tone. Um, I've spent quite a lot of time on her face already for the first half of the video, but here is more details on her rooting. Here's her face. I love her eyes. She's so cute. Here's the other side. Her hair. Um, it's really soft. Um, it tends to get a little bit messed up in the back. I don't touch this doll too often um but I do keep her head on on plastic um if you need a photo of the back of her head happy to do that so there's her face here's one of her arms she's kind of like textured varnish I don't know if the if the camera is like picking up on that I love this um veining in her hand. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick up on that. And she has really nice nails too. I'm not into like the super French tip-ish looking um, nails on dolls. Like see how this veining, I think that's beautiful. So yeah, there's the other side of her hand. I like how relaxed this hand is. It just kind of like lays there, but but like this half is relaxed, but then this finger is also has some movement to it. So I, I like the, I like that. I really like that about this hand in particular. This hand is a little more quote unquote boring. It's just in a little fist. Again, beautiful veining detail here. I really like, really like how colorful. Here's the other side of her arm back side of her hand sorry <laughs> there's her nails and I might already have a details video up of this doll I'm not sure but I mean if you like scroll back on my channel and find it you'll you'll see that aside from the rooting the stall is in the exact same condition that she came to me in here's her little curly legs so again you can kind of see like the detail it looks like real skin hopefully the camera like picks up on that but yeah the, the texture is, is really neat. I really like this doll. 
So here you can see a little more of her veining, her little kneecap. Let's see if I can, oops, get the top of her foot. There's all her toenails. Um, let's see, her big toe is separate, but then all of these toes are sculpted together for anyone. Or, well, these are kind of separated, I guess. But yeah, her, t her um, four toes are mostly sculpted together. There's the bottom of her foot. And then here's her other leg. She's really cute. She's preemie size, but she has a lot more like substantial limbs than some of my other preemies. Like, I really I can... I mostly compare her to Birdie by Laura Lee Eagles, who has, like, sorry, Hugo, watch out, baby, <laughs> one of the aforementioned cats. He likes to play with, um, the plastic wrap. <laughs> um, anyway, I've lost my train of thought yet again. I'm sorry this video is so scattered. Here's the top of her foot, the, her other foot. These toes are all together. There's a little bit of movement here in this little pinky toe but yeah they're all sculpted together and the big toe is separate and then here is the bottom of this foot so let me go out a little bit look at that little face oh my goodness okay so I try to like I feel like I always have her head at strange angles because I want her eyes to like catch the light so you can tell they're blue instead of just like a flat I feel like it's harder to tell when you have her up like this you know but anyway, um, if you have any further questions, feel free to message me. Um, you can message me through Instagram or um, if I send you this because you saw my listing on Facebook, um, you can obviously message me through there. So yeah, there she is. She's a cutie pie. I'm very excited for someone else to get to enjoy this doll. So, so yeah. Let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to chatting soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.